Hello there and welcome to the Sunday game. We have a special edition for you here today. We have a host of Irish celebrities giving their thoughts on Sunday's All-Ireland Football Final. You know, listen, you can't look past Dublin, but of course, you want to see me all do it. You know, obviously you'd like it. But listen, you know, it's a man's game at the end of the day. I mean, you know, just mentally haven't been strong enough. So listen, we'll see you on Sunday, you know. Whose phone is that? Whose phone is that? You know, it's shit or bust now for me, oh. And I'm afraid, you know, what I predict on Sunday is going to be another calamity, another disaster, you know, the perennial capitulation that we've become accustomed to over the last, you know, 15 years or so. You know, and I think Dublin as well as me, oh, are going to, like, adopt, you know, a two or three sweeper system, you know. And I want nothing to do with that. Now, Michael, there are two types of people. There are those who don't know, that's me, and then there are those who don't know they don't know, and sometimes Joe falls into that category. Um, look, yeah, obviously it's going to be a great game. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Dublin, obviously I like Dublin, I also like Mayo, so, you know, I don't really know who to support. Um, I probably just won't go now. Well, there's all we can hope for now is ki- some kicking, you know. As the game is, you know, it's, it's called football days. Uh, yeah, you know, I think Dublin are great, and and they'll they'll win us, of course they will. Um, I not to go off the point, but I was just shocked, Des, when I found out I'd I'd high cholesterol. Like, am I the only fella that's worried about this? Like, you're gonna have Lee Keegan and Dear McConley like going at it again. Like, and I think that like that fire in Conley's in eight, and you're going to see a big fight. Like, and you know, Jim, you must be like worried about this. Of course, Willie. Um, but you know, both players now have spoken to each other, and um, they've had a full and frank discussion. And um, both players uh, looking to move on with their intercounty careers. Ah, uh, will you go away, you boring old bollocks? Will you? Yeah, look, it's great. Um, another All Ireland final. Um, to play in, which is always great crack. Um, all the lads were all up for it. Um, I myself, you know, have always been wanting to emulate my brother Alan. You know, um, he was the darling of the hill, and you know, I always wanted to be like him. And you know, it's great. Um, my mum, she's from Kerry. Um, so it's always great crack. You know, I can't see nothing but a Dublin win here. I'm sorry, but listen, this Dublin team is it's full of dance. You got Connolly, you got Brogan. Yeah, you know, Philly McMahon, he, he's an absolute don. You know, so it, it'll be a first half TKO. Um, I'm pretty close to grabbing Sam McGuire by the, the two ears, holding his head aloft. He will bring his head backstage, place it on that table, and him and Jim Gavin will toast the good business. You know, all I have to do is look at the stats. So how would you win, you know? You're a small fish. Kerry aren't in the final, you know, and I've no notion going watching it. You know, my new menswear collection comes out, you know, in the autumn. So, so how, so how do I have time, like, you know? I've no notion, you know. Well, now, I'm just hoping for a good game of football now. Obviously, Joe Brawley will be very happy now that there's no Tyrone team in the final to spoil it for him. Uh, I do think Dublin will win the game. Uh, Dear McConley, he is, he's a rebel. And he stands up to bullies. He's a great guy. Yeah, look at um, there's great buzz about the county. Um, everyone's really excited for the game. Um, but look at if I couldn't do it with them, you know, there's not a chance I'll do it. Well, now what you're going to see is pure constipated football, followed then by shite all over the field, right? Because the Mayo footballers, right, are absolutely gutless, just like Michael the Galway Hollows, right? Going to be a great day for the people of Mayo, I think. I was speaking to some of the guys in the gym, really confident. The Dubs, obviously, they're a great side, but I think this is going to be our year. Big day for Mayo. Yeah, look, obviously, there's huge disappointment in Uncle Kenny, um, you know, after last week's loss, but the best team won the day, and, you know, what can you say? But don't ask me about football, I don't care. Listen, Michael, no, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be a great game of football on Sunday, you know. I think the Mayo group has been compromised because people have been disrespectful, right? I think they can beat Dublin, you know. As you're on the shook. I can guarantee you, the people of Ireland, that Mayo will win this All Ireland on Sunday. They will win it, and I will dance like this. <laughs> yes. yes, that is your leader. As the President of Ireland, I would like to wish all the teams involved on Sunday the very best of luck. As a Galway constituent, I hope Dublin beat the shit out of them. It's going to be a great game. Um, Jim Gavin is a great guy. Um, 
But look, I know, nobody wants to hear my shite. I really hope for a great game on Sunday. It'll be wonderful. I can't wait to see Bernard Brogan in those shorts. Well, Joe Bradley, what do you think of that? Garamila my hagat agas a car jagalayer. If you enjoyed any of these impressions here today, feel free to subscribe to Kara Sketches on Facebook and Twitter.